Welcome to another edition of Your Daily Five. I'm your host, John Colucci, Johnny Scan. Let's jump right in what we have today, and that is can we use the ATR average true range to find any sign of a bottom in either stocks or indices themselves? Let's take a look at what the ATR is. It's a volatility measure, and that was developed by Wells Wilder discuss in his book new concepts and technical trading different methodologies for uh, calculating the ATR you'll see all of that in the stock charts chart school article typically ATR is used on 14 periods but in our particular case we're going to use a comparative analysis on the ATR to look for extreme or significant jumps in the ATR value as a method of determining whether something has stopped and reverse entered a period of capitulation something different has happened we're going to use the ATR for that purpose here's the code we'll be working with today we're going to scan our indices Dow S&P Nasdaq SP 400 that's the mid caps we're going to look at a weekly ATR you can change scan terms by using uh, modifiers, weekly, monthly, daily, so on and so forth. Take a look at the scan techniques articles that are available on Stock Charts. So we're going to look for a weekly ATR value, the five period value of ATR. Uh, excuse me, we're going to use five daily periods into a weekly for an ATR one weekly we're going to compare that to a three week period but we're going to add a little bit of oomph to that three period uh, weekly ATR by requiring that uh, the one period be greater than the three period times 1.25 percent so the three week period uh, ATR has to be multiplied by 1.25 that makes it even greater raises the bar in terms of how uh, wide that uh, weekly ATR1 bar has to be. We're also going to ask for a ROC 5 greater than 0. So our rate of change over 5 daily periods, no, no modifier on that language, has to be greater than 0. So something has gone up at the same time our weekly ATR has expanded. So we should see all of our uh, weekly bars having a positive close. And we're going to rank these by the ones that have moved the furthest. So ranking by ROC 5, standard rank will get the largest first. Let's go ahead and see what that scan does for us. We have 97 results in this particular scan. It's a manageable number, significant but manageable. And we see uh, first our old friend GameStop. That over five periods has increased 43.435%. Tremendous run. And look at the composition of our scan results. A lot of retailers. Discretionary has been a very difficult area over the past uh, couple of quarters. But we see here, those are starting to stop and reverse. Look at these daily ROC5 numbers. Very, very significant moves up in a tremendous number of retailers. Some are old friends, energy, uh, health care, uh, communication services, another very, very difficult area of late. Uh, but they're all populating this. So what we do want to see is things that have come down over time, stopped, bounced, moved up significantly. Let's take a look at the charts that we have. First one we're going to look at, consumer discretionary broadline retailer, Macy's, venerable company. And we see uh, a difficult picture in terms of stability over the past really few years. We got up to 34 or 37.47 and slammed right back down. And we may have found a bottom move back up so let's take a look at the chart here our most recent bar 30 percent last week what a tremendous bounce there and we are measuring 
when we scan here, we're measuring last week's bar compared to the really the average of the prior three weeks times 1.25. So we see here tremendous move last week. And note that we do have the ATR on the chart. We always want to, where possible, calibrate our chart settings to reflect the scan that we're running. So here we've uh, overlapped the volume and added ATR. We see we have an ATR1, and then we've added a moving average MA3 for uh, the second part of our scan term. So the red line is the ATR, and the blue line is the three period moving average. That gets us approximately where we need to be in terms of visually reflecting our scan terms on the chart. Very, very interesting move there. Maybe uh, Macy's has printed a bottom. Certainly, a lot of people wanted to buy it last week at that valuation. Our next stock, Dollar Tree, another discretionary retailer. Look at the move again. 29% on the week last week. We had a very, very challenging week before. So we have these railroad tracks going here, down, up, and um, look at the red and blue lines in the ATR. You can see both have uh, gone extremely uh, vertical for this purpose. And we have a pullback to prior uh, resistance, new support around the 123 area. So we slammed down, tested, stopped at the rising uh, 50 period. These are weekly charts, of course, a 50 period, so approximately a 200 uh, day chart, uh, one year almost, really. And uh, came down, moved right back off with a very, very, very strong week, incredible week, really. And that uh, shows us we have potentially found some type of stopping action with a really uh, meteoric rise off of support. Here we have another uh, retail candidate, Nordstrom. This again, down to support, but higher low. Very, very strong bar up off the area of support around the $20 level. So has Nordstrom found a bottom and did ATR lead us to that conclusion. We, of course, see our red and blue lines representing the ATR and the three period average. Again, everything looks to be in the order that we would expect with this particular scan. Our next uh, candidate here is Zoom Video Communications. Now, if we ever wanted to see the conditions for a bottom, here we go. Tremendous decline over the last year, year and a half. We're back in the vicinity of the IPO price uh, around 73. We're at uh, 110 now, but look at the move that we had last week, 23% on the week last week. Very, very substantial move that we're finding here. Different area, computer services, tax, XLK would be your sector. And there we have a different area of the market that's responding to buying pressure uh, in the last week. So perhaps a bottom has been printed for this, but as always, be careful out there. Next stock, we have another retailer. So here we see Dollar General, consumer discretionary specialty retailer, very, very significant drop after what in the world of Wyckoff we would call an upthrust action. That is, uh, several weeks ago, we jumped up to 262.20 and immediately retreated back to the area of a prior overhead resistance. We've crashed all the way through to the bottom, not uh, uh, too terribly uh, past prior low, but right in the area, so it is a new low. Then we jumped right back up 21% last week. Wow. If you got into these last week and that's that, great. But if you got in uh, in the area of, say, the midline of this current structure or near uh, the uh, 
10 week moving average, again, weekly charts here, you would just barely be even at this point. So interesting moves, very, very substantial, but do they indicate a bottom? Note that we're really using the ATR to simply find areas where buying pressure has really, really outstripped selling pressure. We're not concerned yet with the volume, direction, uh, anything of that nature. Uh, we're really looking for huge bars. We are imparting some direction to the scan by using uh, the rate of change over five days, but not necessarily over the longer term, which would indicate whether or not we're positive, say, on a one-year basis. That's stuff for another scan. We'll take a look at that in the future. But essentially here, big, big bars uh, are what we're looking for. So that's what we have today in the world of scanning. Uh, go ahead, check out my friends over at Wyckoff Analytics. We do publish a newsletter on Wyckoff Analytics that enables you to get the best of scanning and market analysis based on scanning. We use a very unique Wyckoff element scanning method that gives us a look at uh, different aspects of the market from the perspective of Wyckoff events. So that's available for you on Wyckoff Analytics. Thanks so much for watching. It's been another edition of YD5. I'm your host, John Colucci. Johnny Skian signing off. And again, thanks for watching. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.